Maybe the beautiful Congresswoman. Huwag kang bumawi-bawi ngayon pagkatapos mo mag-post ng mga kung ano-ano tungkol sa akin na tawagin akong beautiful. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I just want want the to want to return to Latino to Ay, have a proper decorum. You should address the chair and you should not point out somebody, members of this committee in your manifestation or else. Mr. I'm still a question with you. After this, when it comes to investigation, mamaya, yung resolution ng investigation, sasagot ka pa doon. Kaya ayos yung share mo, baka agahan mo yan. Sorry for that, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, the Honorable uh, Ramon Gutierrez. Now, for the uh, proponent of the uh, resolution, the uh, Honorable uh, Ms. Zograles. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So before we vote the, to approve the yes. resolution, she has the final. Uh, this is the final one to before the vote. The committee report based on the resolution as amended that we adopted last uh, hearing, no which is to simply naman urge the NPC uh, to suspend the operations of SOARA. So based on its violations of their franchise, may I just ask, be allowed to ask some clarificatory questions? Yes, please. So this is to... Um, uh, please take note, uh, Attorney Tolentino, there are clarificatory questions to be asked by the Honorable uh, Mig Sugrades. So in our previous hearings, we already established that Suarez Sog is actually a monopoly. Kita naman po natin sa pie chart na nilabas po uh, of the Kingdom of Jesus. And um, as well with any of the lawyers, uh, it's part of your due diligence to know the membership of the major stockholder of your corporation, correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. May I know how many members uh, the Kingdom of Jesus um, has today? The, the kingdom of, I am, it, no? I cannot answer that, Mr. Chair. I am the lawyer of SMNI, not the executive pastor. You just of the mentioned kingdom earlier, you, it's part of your due diligence, di ba? Sanabi mo, my due diligence as every lawyer to I'll know try the to answer, Mr. Chair, to the best of my knowledge, Mr. Chair. But to be honest, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair I have no personal knowledge to the number of members, but I know it's about mi more than millions, Mr. Chair. Okay. Well, I did my due diligence. So, meron naman po kami kayong website. Pakita po na lang natin yung screenshot ng website. Okay. Maybe we have the screenshot. So, it says in the screenshot of the website where Pastor Kibolo is there, no? You have 7 million worldwide, no? And congregations in Asia, North America, South and Central America, Europe, Africa, and Australia. Um, so, ang laki, 7 million followers worldwide, members worldwide, and uh, um, I, sobrang laki niyan. On what occasions, Mr. Chair, do uh, these members get together? Uh, actually, Mr. Chair, I am not a member of the church, so I have no personal knowledge. I am just a lawyer of SMNI, Mr. Chair. I am not the lawyer of the kingdom of Jesus Christ, but I admit, Mr. Chair, that Pastor Apollo Sikiboloy is my friend, Mr. Chair. Okay. Since uh, dinidiin, uh, hindi niya sinasagot mm. po. Okay. Um, so since dinidiin naman po yung corporation, so uh, gusto niya tayong turuan. No? In 2006, when you converted from a non-stock corporation to a corporation soul, how many members would you have back then? How many members did you have back then? As a corporation soul, Mr. Chairman, from the word soul, there's only one person involved, Mr. Chair, holding the properties of the corporation as a trustee per Section 108 of the Mr. Chair, I'm asking code. about the members. No, we will have to understand. Uh, this is one person representing a, se a religious sector. A religious sector. Yes, Mr. Chair. Ilan, ilan yun? That's why, Mr. Chair, I have no personal knowledge with respect to the numbers, but I can give estimate, Mr. Chair, Mr. more than millions, Mr. Chair. Okay, more than Seven millions. Seven million, more or less, but it includes also the sympathizers, Mr. Chair, worldwide, Mr. Chair. Okay, that's in 2006, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay, so let's just say, what's what's two-thirds of seven million, Mr. Chair? Seven million, two-thirds? Yes. That's around four million. Uh, around four million, okay. Yes. Um, and when... The, you amended your AOI from a non-stock to a corporation sole. Were you 
able to convene these 4 million members from all around the world. Mr. Chair, uh, I'd like to manifest that there was no amendment from, from <clears throat> stock to Corporation Seoul, Mr. Chair. Okay. For record, Mr. Chair. Okay. Can we show na lang po the GIS that you, you, in your certificate of filing of amendment of articles of incorporation, did not, didn't you change from a, from your non-stock to a, a to a corporation soul? Na paulit ulit yung binibigyan ng, uh, di ba? Nalabas corporation soul, corporation soul. Ngayon, are you recanting? What is the good lawyer recanting now that he is, there's, there's no corporation soul? There's no amendment? Parang nililito po tayo, Mr. Chair. So I just, can, can we... Attorney, I think that's a uh, misdeclaration. Your statement earlier with this document. So based on my personal knowledge, Mr. Chair... We're not no, no, asking. No, no, this no, is a document that you submitted. These are documents already. I mean, you know, uh, alam po ninyo, pag nagsasabi yung... Tingnan nyo na yung dokumento para maging tugma. Anyway, so kita naman po natin may dokumento na they submitted, no? Um, so again, two-thirds of the membership, you have 7 million and an estimate is 4 million. And now you're saying you don't know how they convened or whatsoever. Walang pictures of this milestone to have 4 million. It's such a big diba, event all over the world. May you know the question, Mr. Chair? The do you question, have any proof? Do you have that, any proof that you've you know, the membership? That is, oh, that is an estimate, Mr. Chair. No, no, no. Yeah, no we're talking. We're talking of any proof that uh, they convened. Yes, because have, as stated here in your certificate of filing of amended articles of incorporation, which you submitted to the SEC and you submitted to Congress as part of your repertorial requirements on November eight, you got the vote of at least two thirds of the members of the corporation, right? Mr. Chair, yes, and uh, this is to 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 this, to uh, amend to to make uh, I am the, it a corporation. So, uh, attorney, I only answer that, Mr. Chair, that I'm not the lawyer of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. I am the lawyer of SMNI, Mr. Chair. I can have no personal knowledge about the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, Mr. Chair. But I have a question. Don't you think you should have wor uh, some working knowledge about this, since this you're representing SMNI, of which? Uh, the kingdom of Jesus Christ, the sole corporation, is part of, or majority of. I mean, how can you detach yourself from that argument? Na dapat hindi ko pwede magtaguro na eh. Kasi with due diligence yan, as a lawyer, you come here, you're supposed to come here prepared and have the answers. And you can't waste the time of all the resource persons, and including the members of Congress. Sorry for that, Mr. Chair. Yes, that's why, you know, if you keep on saying that you are not, I mean, you should, boss, third hearing na po natin to. You should be prepared to answer these questions already. Tapos, you, there's another lawyer that comes in just to deliver a letter. So, I mean, I, I don't understand. Uh, you have to be able to answer these questions. The question of the Honorable Nograles is, do you have any photo to show that the executive of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the sole corporation, convened? Because as per the amended articles, you did convene. Attorney Rolex, why kayo may sagot? Mr. Chairman. Yes, uh, sir. We have discussed this. When it, when questions would touch on the... On the executive pastor of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ, the name Above Every Name, Inc. Yes. We only have the certificate of filing of amended articles for 2023 and... The other one, yeah. The previous one, 20. Mr. Chair, since they 20, are dodging. Uh, uh, 22. Yes, yes, you still have the floor. Go ahead. You are, your Honor. We so are, are you able to answer the question? At we are level. engaged only by SMNI, Your Honor. And later on, during but, the second hearing, uh, we agreed to be lawyers for uh, Ms. Badoy and Mr. Celis, but not for the executive pastor. Your Honor. This is yes, but entity. you know, these are already amendments to the incorporation, the corporation that controls the SMNI. Now, hindi po dapat alam niyo ang sagot ito? Your Honor, how can, how, 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 can you, how can you say that you don't have working knowledge and come here and we talk about this? How can, how can there be an intelligent discussion with the resource persons? Mr. And Chair, how can you defend SMNI? 
Your Honor, if you do not know a basic question as far as this particular sole corporation. With your respect, Your Honor, we are called here to answer for uh, one, the alleged 1.8 billion uh, travel expenses expenditures of the speaker. Number two, the uh, uh, red tagging uh, allegedly made in a program in SMNI. Well, Mr. very Chair, good, Attorney Mr. Rolex. Chair, but I, I would not have I any knowledge on what happened in 2006 but when the, the vote was taken. Would you respect your honor? Mr. Chair, please. Atta Attorney, gaito na po yan. Uh, you also yes, called honor. here to defend SMNI. And in SMNI, there is a sole corporation of this nature. That's why we're just asking you, you cannot escape from the fact that this has to be part of your job to be able to justify their very existence. You cannot say that what ni po ko abogado niyan. Then, pwede niyo sabihin, lahat siya hindi ako abogado except SMI. Ang problema, marami hong tao at maraming korporasyon ko kontrol ko sa SMI. Eh. So, kailangan, hindi po dapat. I mean, if there was a reversal, kayo po nako po rito at ako po dyan, at ako po yung abogado, hindi ba dapat? Alam ko rin yan. Definitely, the view there is better than the view here, Your Honor. Thank you very much. At least we work clear, clear, Tony Rolex. Mr. But you know, I once, I once sat over there for nine years. Your I Honor. know, and I used to watch you. And I knew you would ask questions like this too. <laughs> okay? At least you pinaparusot yung mga, yung mga resource persons pag hindi tama yung sagot. The Honorable Nograres. Mr. Chair, claro ko lang Thank po. Thank you, Your Honor. No, um, sanabi po kasi ni Attorney Supliko na they're being called here for, you know, the, this, ano, yung mga red tagging. Oh. Sa agenda A. Sa agenda B tayo, we're talking about the resolution here. Yes. To clarify lang po. Mm -hmm. And which you are still also the lawyers for you know, SMNI on this resolution, which is simply to urge NTC to suspend because of violations of your franchise. Correct, Mr. Chair? Yes. Okay. So, iklaro po natin. Let's not mislead right now what's happening. Hindi naman po ako yung nag-file nun. Pinag-uusapan natin ang resolution na final ko to urge NTC to suspend if we find that violations. Okay. And in any case, since they did not do their due diligence as lawyers, um, there is section 114 of the Revised Corporation Code. And nandito naman din yung SEC na I can ask them questions if you cannot answer the questions of a major stockholder. SEC. Yes, right. oh, so, um, are you addressing this now? Um, wait, wait, Attorney Tolentino. I am... Pwede bang tapusin po natin si Congressman Nogdaris? Di ho kayo pwede pumasok. Oh, yes, okay. Saray po kasi you, siyang... Until, ganyan, because you know, kanina nagsasalta, puro hindi nyo alam. Ngayon naman na bibigyan niya, iba banda niyo sa iba, tatanungin niyo at papasok ulit kayo. Pwede bang tapusin muna ni Congressman Nograle? Congresswoman Nograle, yung line of question po Sorry niya. for that, Mr. Chair. Bago ko kayo pagbigyan, ha? So, yes, Honorable Nograle, para ho maging orderly yung proceeding at saka maintindihan ho natin yung issues. Honorable Nograle. So, Section 114 of the Revised Corporation Code, which embodies the rules for corporation soul since gusto naman po nila tayong turuan tungkol sa corporation soul explicitly requires that at least two-thirds of the membership will give its written consent or has voted to incorporate at a duly convened meeting of the body. SEC, tama po ba, Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, SEC, please answer the question. That is correct, Mr. Chair. And even um, jurisprudence, Iglesia Evangelista versus Bishop Lazaro, GR number 184088, July 6, dated July 6, 2010, states, even an amendment as well requires two-thirds of its membership, the vote or the written consent of its membership that convenes for that sole purpose. SEC. Correct? That, that's correct, Mr. Chair. Okay. Dito po, makikita natin sa pag-file pa lang nila ng Certificate of Amendment of Articles. That's why I highlighted it. It says two-thirds of the members of the corporation, which is not membership and violative of Section 114. Is this correct, uh, as, uh, Mr. Chair, to SEC? That appears to be the case, Mr. Chair. Yes, but, but of course, alam naman po natin, mandatory, I mean, May, may mga submissions sin ng documents and you have to, SEC has to, um, uh, if nagbigay sila ng documents, kailangan naman pong, uh, di ba, uh, i-approve. Yes. Right? So, can we show na lang the next slide? Next slide, please. So, they have a trustee certificate which is notarized. No? Sworn. There's an oath there. 
Sabi naman po na na contradictory to the first page of the submission. This is attached to the um, 2006 amendment. Meron naman silang two-thirds of the members in a special meeting called for that purpose and jointly held on November 8, 2006. Um, so I, I've been looking through the website. Wala mo nung po kasing pictures, walang anything. So if SMNI na lang po can furnish us a copy of a photo or proof of the notice, kasi 2006, wala pang, hindi pa pwede yung mga Zoom-Zoom pang ano, board meetings. So dapat, di ba, nakita yan, ha? magkasama-sama sila to, on November 8, specifically, especially for that, that they called the meeting. I'm really hoping SMNI would be able to uh, submit such documents or proof. Because if not, um, hindi po ba to SEC, this is grounds for cancellation because SEC. of fraud. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, any document that uh, appears to be fraudulent or uh, false or contains a uh, false statement uh, submitted in support of a uh, filing of um, Article 7 Corporation or any amendment that constitutes fraud in the procurement and be, may be cancelled, Mr. Chair. So, mukhang kahit yung SEC, binibigan nila ng uh, iba-ibang requirements, I mean, the documents na contradictory to each other. Yes. The first statement on the first page of the GIS and mas malala. If they cannot prove this, Mr. Chair, this is already criminally, this is a criminal offense for perjury because this is under oath. The same as the document submitted to us na iba po ang sinabit sa atin sa Kongreso uh, na nalaman po natin today and sa SEC, eh di po uh, fraud po yun. Um, so, to clarify lang po then with SEC, para malaman po natin within the purview of SEC anong definition ng fraud, meron po kasi akong nabasang administrative case uh, number 03-15-173 um, on Nature's Garden Park versus Enforcement and Investor Protection De Department where you define fraud within the purview of SEC to be uh, fraud as actual or constructive. And in the same case, you mentioned that any material statement made by an incorporator in its articles of incorporation or amendment that turns, turns out to be falsehood um, would be considered fraudulent. And again, yung, yung fraudulent na to, regardless of the incorporator's intent or knowledge of such, such falsehood, correct? Mr. Chair. Yes. That's, that's correct, see. Mr. Chair. Correct, Mr. Chair. Essentially, pag mag good faith na naman na argument, no? That they didn't know, they didn't comply, it's still going to fall as fraud within the definition of SEC. Correct? SEC. That's correct, Mr. Chair. Thank and you. fraud in submission nga, even if they say good faith, is a ground to cancel such amendment or certificate of registration. Correct? That's correct, Mr. Chair. Okay. Proceed. Um, may I ask, and um, with this uh, cancellation, no, uh, may I ask lang, um, NPC naman po, Mr. Chair. Please proceed. Um, for NPC, it is within the power of the NPC to issue certificates of public convenience for operation of communications of radio and television broadcasting system, correct? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. And corollary to this power and to your regulatory powers, does NPC also have the power to suspend such certificate, license, or permits? Proceed. If the violations are directly in not uh, are directly in violation of the CPC that the NTC issued, then the NTC may consider may consider your honor. But we take into account also the other jurisprudences on, on, on in light of this. Thank so, you. So uh, essentially, Mr. Chair, I just want we just want to clarify from NTC. If we see violations now that we're seeing several violations within, especially the franchise of Suarez. And even if we dig deeper and see more violations, uh, does, and does NTC have the power to suspend while we're looking into violations at magkakarampotukan po na lalabas po ang violations? Mr. Chair. 
uh, Your Honor, we will uh, we will be uh, evaluating very carefully the 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 resolutions and whatever that the this committee may may come up with to and we take into account also the existing mandate that we have and the corresponding juris jurisprudence. Yes, structure. simply that's why our resolution is to urge NTC. No, so to enlighten lang everyone, I suppose let's run through na lang po the violations. First, the ba yung ground naman po ng pag-urge natin sa NTC dahil may violations sila sa franchise. Um, klaro naman po kanina pa that we have next next slide please on their franchise which is RA one one four two two section four uh, must violated. Not to use the uh, station or facilities for dissemination or of deliberately false information or willful misrepresentation to the detriment of the public interest. Okay, next slide. Last meeting, of course, we established this with this whole con shift of the controlling interest. No, um, and again, this would hit another provision in their franchise which is on the next slide, section 10, which we have established that there is no prior approval on the transfer of the controlling interest. And then that's the first sentence of section 10. The next slide, please. There's also a violation on the requirement to report within uh, 60 days from the transfer of the controlling interest. Um, so, punta tayo sa mukhang ngayon dahil sa nakita natin no, that the latest GIS statement that they submitted uh, to us is different. Is different. Uh, the one, 2021 po ba yun? 2021 GIS submitted to us on the repertorial requirement is different from the one that they submitted to um, SEC. Mukhang ngayon may violation na rin po sa section 12. Um, which, if I may direct this committee lang to section 12 on the repertorial requirements. Um, one, two. On the third paragraph, actually, the second paragraph, the annual report shall include an update on the rollout, development, operation, or expansion of business, audited financial statements, latest general information sheet officially submitted to SEC. So, bakit po iba ang sinabit sa atin at iba ang official sinabit po nila sa SEC? Certification of the NTC on the status of its permits and operations and an update on the dispersal of ownership undertaking if applicable. The next, the next paragraph, the repertorial compliance certificate issued by Congress shall be required before an application for permit, certificate, or any equivalent thereof is accepted by the NTC. So ngayon mukhang pumasok na meron na rin pong violation ng Section 12. Hindi pa po tayo tapos. Um, like... We showed earlier, uh, last hearing, next slide please, lalabas ko po ulit na lang yung pie chart, um, that essentially, 53.46% is the executive pastor, Phoebus Holdings is 46.22, eh, Phoebus Holdings naman, about 97% is owned by executive pastor na, di ba, nung 2022 naman, na-establish natin na, Si Pastor po ang talagang may control naman. So equivalently, may 98.37% na share talaga si Executive Pastor. So, but makikita po natin na ang um, cooperative na wala rin po doon sa kanilang franchise na ginawa nila to comply after 29 years of existence ay 0.19 lang po. Ang layo-layo ng 30% um, requirement nila to offer the public um, sa dispersal of ownership clause nila. And they only did this two years ago. After 29 years of existence, Mr. Chair, diba sinabi po naman, Mr. Chair, nila that they, were, they are complying and may good faith na naman. Pero questionable na gusto pala nila comply 
eh, two years ago lang nila kinumply after 29 years of existence. Medyo, di ba, nakaka, ano, Mr. Chair, nakakapagduda. Di ba? But even with that, we'll show the next slide. So, dahil hindi umabot sa 30%, meron violation on Section 11. Okay. More than even the franchise, nakikita natin tuloy-tuloy yung mga violations nila. Even with the Constitution. Next slide, please. Because we've established that there's monopoly um, on Article 12. Section 19, the state shall regulate or prohibit monopolies when public interest so requires. No combinations in restraint of trade, of trade or unfair competition shall be allowed. Next slide. Hindi lang isa na violation and the highest law of the land, which is the Constitution. Pati rin po ang Section 16, uh, Section 11, Article 16, that Congress shall regulate or prohibit monopolies in commercial mass media. Na mukhang tinatamaan na rin po na kailangan natin din tingnan to. Kaya nga, di ba, nakikita natin may mga violations. Not even with the Constitution. Let's also go to the KBP Broadcast Code, which they only withdrew their membership on December 4, 2023. So they cannot now wash their hands and say that all other violations uh, that they did prior to that does not ap apply to them. So next slide. Article 1 of the KBP Broadcast Code on Section 3, Fairness and Objectivity. News report shall be fair, factual, and objective. Okay. Next slide. Meron din on Section 4 on news sources. The only news that can be attributed to a source shall be aired. News must be uh, clearly identified. You know, these there are violations here na naklaro naman, di ba, na Mr. Chair, correct, um, na umamin naman po na may mga violations at hindi nag-comply at hindi na-verify. Tama po, Mr. Chair. Not just Section 4. The next slide. Meron pa pong personal attacks na bawal po na nalabas po naman nila Honorable Manuel and Honorable uh, Castro kanina po. Next slide. Meron din Article 5 naman kung sinasabi nila nagkakamali. Uh, when a mistake has been broadcast, um, it must be acknowledged and rectified as soon as possible. At ngayon lang sila nagsasabi ng sorry dahil nag-iimbestiga po tayo. Parang bakit ganun po, di ba? Meron din Article 13 ng KBP Broadcast Code. So persons who regularly go on air shall be required to obtain accreditation. Okay, some of the uh, SMNI hosts were not KBP accredited. Correct, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, ako nga po, hindi nga po ako KBP accredited. Sinasabi na dati po akong co-host kaya, kaya nga po umalis. Kasi mukhang may mga violations tayong nakita. So, I can attest to that veracity na some hosts really are not accredited. Okay. Then we have another article sa KBP Broadcast Code, Article 33, the Universal Ethical Standards. Ang dami po kaya sa KBP Broadcast Code. Hindi lang po yun. Uh, Mr. Chair, meron din po sa sarili nating house rules. Para maklaro lang kung bakit, di ba, na side for contempt. Pakita po natin ang next slide. For sure naman, when the Honorable Pimentel and the Honorable Abante moved for uh, to cite uh, the two individuals for contempt, syempre mabigat yun sa loob. Pero trabaho din po natin na kailangan to maintain the integrity of um, this Honorable Committee of Congress ay uh, pag may lumalabag sa batas at may lumalabag sa House Rules natin, it is our duty to move. For those, para hindi tayo niloloko. Ayun naman po din gusto natin, hindi tayo maloko po, di ba? And so, to emphasize that there are violations naman po talaga, which we cited, which the Honorable Congressman cited, which is Section 11C on refusal to answer any relevant inquiry, which today we also heard nga, yun naman, di ba? Yung dahilan kung bakit uh, na-cite in contempt po. And also, acting in a disrespectful manner towards any member of the committee or any misbehavior in the presence of the committee. And then, next slide. Today, now we see maybe there's a violation with SEC that SEC might should 
start looking into. Because merong hindi pagtutugma-tugma ang kanilang pagbibigay ng dokumento sa pag-apply ng kanilang amendment that would be detrimental now to their pinangahawa kanilang corporation souls. Sila, eh, kung mawalan sila ng certificate niyan, yung amendment to begin with, wala pala. Balik sila sa non-stock. So, mawawala yung argument nila. So, kailangan po ata talagang tingnan nila yan. And tingnan po rin ng SEC. Hindi lang po yung NTC na. No? And to, again, uh, the next slide, babalik ko, na may violation din sa revised corporation code. So, in the event then that there is that they find fraud in the amendment of AOI of of uh, the kingdom of Jesus, the executive kingdom of Jesus no let's go back to the pie chart ano mangyayari di ba pareho pa rin yung numero kasi kung magiging non-stock sila babalik sila sa kingdom of Jesus na hindi corporation soul at mas malala kasi non-stock sila 98.37% pa rin. Kasi essentially, the 53.46 and the 44.91 ay magiging kingdom of Jesus na non-stock. And obviously, di ba, monopolistic siya. Which is violative of so many things. So, ngayon, with, uh, meron pa din po, next, na mukhang even the first hearing, we have established that meron ang pending administrative case filed against SMNI for red tagging and misusing uh, of their platform. Um, tama po, uh, Mr. Chair sa NTC? Uh, There's a pending. Please um, reply to the inquiry of the honorable yes uh, yes your your honor mr chair there's a pending case on admin case uh with the suara so with yeah. the ntc so essentially that's why we are urging no ntc to suspend muna habang nakikita natin na buwang niloloko-loko tayo dito in summary lang para pakita po natin sa taong bayan ang mga violations that we have seen so far not just their franchise on Section 4, Section 10, Section 11, mukhang ngayon pati Section 12. Pati ang highest law of the land, ang constitution natin, dalawang articles. Article 12 and Article 16. Even the KBP Broadcast Code, there are, are there's Article 1, Article 4, Article 5, Article 9, Article 30, Article 33. Sarili nating house rules din. Kasi hindi nila sinasabi yung totoo. Meron tayong section 11C and 11E sa house rules natin. At mukhang ngayon, kahit po sa revised corporation code, mukhang ganun. So, we're simply really urging NTC na mukhang nagkakalokohan dito kasi may mga fraudulent aspects dito. Um, sino pa ba ang next natin makikita ang manoloko? Sabi nga ni Attorney Mark, walang forever. Dahil po yun sa meron mga manluloko. At kung lulokokin ka, diba, dapat hindi ka nagsistay sa isang toxic situation. So ito na mukhang may panluloko at naluloko tayo, kaya nga may house rules. At, diba, at mukhang lumalabas pa konti-konti at nagda-dodge sila sa pagsasagot ng mga tanong pag hindi nila masagot, Mr. Chair. Ang nakakatakot, ay sino pa ba ang lolokohin kasi nila? Papayag po ba tayo na mandato natin to protect the people from misinformation, to protect people from people who are violating the laws? Papayag po ba tayo? Sana yung NTC, tingnan nyo yung mabuti to, na habang tinitingnan at inuungkat lahat ng mga violations, not just the franchise na makita nyo naman, paunti-unting may nakikita tayong mga violations. Sana po, ay suspindihin nyo muna habang tinitingnan natin lahat po ng mga violations na nangyayari. Yun ang naman po, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, can I comment to that, Mr. Chair? There is no question, though, Mr. Chair. But... Wala po siyang uh, hinihinging uh, sagot sa kanyang sinabi. Tony. But can I make a simple manifestation about uh, hindi about forever or not forever? 
It's about okay. the law. I'll give you one minute. Go ahead. It's about corporation soul, Mr. Chair, is different from religious societies. Under the revised corporation code, corporation code is sec corporation soul is under section 108, 109, up to 113, Mr. Chair. Religious societies is article uh, section 114 of the revised uh, corporation code. Maybe the beautiful congresswoman. Huwag kang bumawi bawi ngayon pagkatapos mo mag-post ng mga kung ano-ano tungkol sa akin. Natawagin akong beautiful. Uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, just want the to Warren Tony Tolentino to have a proper decorum. You should address the chair and you should that point out somebody, members of this committee in your manifestation or else. Mr. I'm still a question not... with you. After this, when it comes to investigation, mamaya, yung resolution ng investigation, sasagot ka pa doon. Kaya ayos si Sir, may baka agahan mo yan. Sorry okay. for that, Mr. Yeah. Chair. Yes. Mr. Chair, kasi naman, like, klaro naman, di ba? I've not talked about anything personal. No. Let's not use this hearing to hit on personal. Sige, you can post on your page personal things, but let's not talk about this here because I'm not talking about it here naman. Um, and just to rebut na lang po, SEC, that's why I uh, said the case of the Iglesia Evangelista versus uh, Bishop Lazaro. Because that's a case that talked about corporation soul and its amendment and applicable nga ang pagpa-file at uh, applicable din sa kanila ang corporation sold ang 114 on religious societies of the two-thirds vote of membership. Correct po, Mr. Chair? Correct, Mr. Chair. So, he cannot say, again, a religious society nakasulat sa section 114 because I did my due diligence and I studied and came prepared to court today, to court, to the hearing today. <laughs> uh, that there is an existing jurisprudence that explicitly already refers that section 114 on the two-thirds vote of the membership is applicable to amendments of corporations to amend it to become a corporation sold. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Uh, before we continue, I, I'm already...